Animal control officers searched a St. Petersburg neighborhood for a wounded dog today. Police shot the pit bull mix last night after it attacked a man. But as our Brad Davis reports, the dog ran off and could still be on the loose. DJ Jones of Pinellas County Animal Control is on the hunt. There's a vicious and wounded dog that's been missing since last night. This dog's been around the neighborhood attacking people left and right. Anthony Davies had to go to the hospital after he was attacked by the white pit bull mix named Tank as he walked home from a nearby 7-Eleven. Uh, dude, I, honestly, after getting bit, I had to check myself because I was pretty sure I left the trail as well. Soon after the attack, St. Pete police shot the dog on 29th Avenue North after it went after a neighbor that was attempting to help the officer get it back behind this fence. It appeared to the officer that the dog was going to try to bite again, and at that point he discharged his firearm and struck the dog. However, the dog did not, uh, did not die at the scene. It did run off. He appeared to be wounded. Animal Control has been searching the streets and alleys in the vicinity of where the shooting took place. St. Pete police are also on the lookout for the wounded animal. According to some of the residents that live around here, this isn't the first time that this dog has become a nuisance in the neighborhood. It's very vicious. It jumps up to the top of the wooden fence and just hangs on there looking and barking at everybody going up and down the road. He's been over that fence several times. Yeah, I mean, he's run the neighborhood. Neighbors say the couple that owns the dog moved out abruptly late last week and left the dog behind. Now, Animal Control hopes to find a wounded tank before Tank finds someone else to attack. In St. Petersburg, Brad Davis, ABC Action News.